We do want to get an update from Camp Atterbury. The National Guard estimates more than 6,000 Afghan evacuees are being housed there, ready to transition to a new life in the U.S. Some of the Afghans who fled Kabul are already resettled here in central Indiana. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid has an update on what's being done to help with that transition. The Ahuda Mosque here in Fishers is a central location for the drop off of donations and supplies for many of the Afghan evacuees at Camp Atterbury. Donated clothes and supplies filled the entryway at the El Huda Mosque. Some donations are from neighbors, many of them not of the Muslim faith, who still want to help the evacuees at Camp Atterbury. The majority of, of those uh, guests are missing their baggages. They literally don't know where their bags are. They need clothing, they need um, uh, hygiene things uh, and shoes, all that type of stuff. So, sometimes religious uh, materials, for example, the copies of the Quran or prayer rags. The mosque's pantry is full of food for those evacuees who have already resettled in central Indiana. Many of the evacuees were able to bring their families to Camp Atterbury. Others left their loved ones behind. I've seen husbands, the whole family, the wife and children uh, couldn't make it. And I've seen ladies, uh, the other, the rest of the families couldn't make it. One of the lucky ones is Jamal Ahmad Bodo. We're protecting his identity because he's a former coalition advisor. He now lives with his four children and wife in a west side apartment. Some of my uh, friends, they live here in the in Indianapolis here. So they told me that we have to come over here in Indianapolis. It's a good place. Uh, and the people are good here and they have a good resident around here. It's a good neighbors. Jamal's children are already enrolled in school and adapting to life in Indiana. I already told them it's going to be a new life here, a new challenges I have to face in new country because it was a lot of strangers, a lot of different from our country and this country. Jamal hopes to put his English translation skills to good use, helping other evacuees assimilate to Hoosier life. Kians are hardworking people, and through their hardworking and dedication, I'm sure um, they're going to they're gonna add up a lot of things uh, to Indiana. The imam says a lot of the evacuees are thinking they might like to stay in central Indiana because, well, the weather reminds them of home. In Fishers, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.